A Thai teenage football team had planned a unique adventure to celebrate the birthday of a teammate. Team members planned to go to Tham Luang Cave to celebrate their teammate's birthday. And it was part of their plan, to not to tell their family members about it. This 10 kilometers long and 85 meters deep cave is present in northern Thailand, amid large mountains of limestone. Of course, it was an adventure to go inside this cave but this adventure was going to become the biggest nightmare which no one had any idea. Once again welcome to our videos. Viewers, it was the 23rd of June 2018. Twelve children, between the ages of 11 to 16, they also had included their 25-year-old coach in their plan. And riding their bicycle they went inside the Tham Luang cave. Those 13 boys had no idea of what dangers they are putting themselves in. Few minutes later after they went inside the cave the climate outside changed and a heavy rainfall started. But as the went deep inside the cave, they had no idea about the rain. Minutes turned into hours. Parents who knew their children were practicing football, got worried when the children didn't return on time. Due to the lack of mobile network inside the cave, no one could contact the boys and neither anyone knew where they were at that moment. Finally with a hint from the football club, they come to know that the boys went inside Tham Luang Cave. When the parents reached the entrance of the cave a heart-wrenching scene was waiting for them. They saw their bicycles and some stuff but no trace of the boys. While parents were still processing this information, but they were stuck with another problem because of the constant heavy rainfall the cave was getting filled with water which was really a bad thing. And rescue team also reached the spot, and immediately they decided to go inside the cave. The cave was getting filled with water, and on top of it, it was becoming hard to breathe due to narrow passages. It was 1 am but still there was no clue of the boys. The water coming down from the mountain, was filling up the cave and then the rescue team brought news from inside the cave and this news broke the parents heart because rescue team had said that they saw a point in the cave, where the water has touched the ceiling. Due to the lack of equipment the rescue operation had to be halted there. This fact was confirmed that if all those 13 football players were still alive in that cave then they have to spend the night alone. From a map, it was found that few of the cave's portions are quite deep and in some places it is goes higher. Experts believe that if these football players were alive they must be taking shelter in those pockets. Throughout the night the level of water increased inside the cave. In the morning, the rescue team started pumping out the water from the first cave but everyone was thinking about only one thing, how to reach them. According to the experts the only solution was to get the professional divers go inside the water and search for the boys. But it was vital for the divers to have the experience of the cave. To execute this mission Thai Navy deployed its commandos who had vast experience of underwater missions. It has been 24 hours since the boys went inside the cave. And with every passing moment, their chances of survival were decreasing. It is obvious that even if they were alive, they neither had sufficient food nor enough oxygen to breathe. Before going inside the water Thai Navy commandos need to ascertain in which dry points of the cave the boys might be present. One of the dry points was known as Pattaya Beach where possibility of finding the boys were high. But the problem was that this point was almost 4 kilometers away. From the entrance of the cave which means they needed to swim underwater for a long distance and the two in the dark and narrow passages of the cave. It was not possible for the divers to reach this point in one day because apart from the difficult layout, the water was quite murky that divers couldn't see their own hands. With no other option, divers started doing their preparation. Thai Navy commandos left red thread behind them so that they could figure out the way out, while returning. Going inside the cave was difficult for them, but returning was easy because they followed the red thread. After two days, they reached a point inside the cave where there was no water and the good thing was they didn't find any dead bodies here. This means the footballers were present further inside the cave, although Navy commandos were experts, but they had no prior experience of cave rescue. That's why they're taking them too much time to execute every step. Four days have been elapsed since footballers were stuck inside the cave. Outside the cave, 
Rescue team had made their base camp and now international media was covering this accident. Time was going fast and seeing the media coverage, experts from all over the world started coming here. But still now all the efforts were fruitless and now it was time to call professional cave rescue team. British cave rescue team who had experience of rescuing people from inside the cave were now in the action. First of all, they went inside the water and decided it was necessary to pump out more water. Previously the water from the cave's entry point was only pumping out but now they started to pump out water from the second entry point, as well. Gradually the cave water receded and now water was out from the first 800 meters of the cave. And in this point British rescue team, created a rescue base camp and named it Chamber 3. Dozens of oxygen cylinders were brought inside the Chamber 3, because the rescue operation was going to start from here. It has been 10 days since the boys got disappeared. Divers started going inside the water from Chamber 3. After hours of swimming inside the dirty and zero visibility water professional drivers reached near the Pattaya beach. It was that point, where everyone was hoping to find the footballers. But after reaching the Pattaya beach point, when they flashed their torches in the dark cave all their hopes dashed into the ground. Because Pattaya beach point was empty, now situation was that the divers had that much oxygen left, with which they can only return to chamber 3. That means if the divers went ahead from this point then they'll have no oxygen left to return. But one driver showed courage and went ahead from Pattaya beach. Going a thousand feet ahead, he found a dry spot and finally when he came out of the water he saw what everybody was hoping for. Frightened footballers were waiting for the driver to come out of the water. And all those 13 boys were perfectly alright. But the question was how did they survive for these 10 days without any food and water? Experts who had years of experience, it took them 10 days to reach this point. How they will evacuate these 13 boys out of this cave? Still, now, all the obstacles that the rescue team had endured, in the next 8 days, they're going to face far bigger challenges. Because this dark cave is going to take someone's life. After getting stuck inside the cave, when the rescue diver lit the torch for the first time he saw the faces of scared boys. Not just for the 13 boys but even for the rescue diver it was the moment of happiness. For the last 10 days these boys were stuck 5 kilometers inside northern Thailand's Tham Luang cave. Without any food, and it was a miracle that they were still alive. Worried parents of the footballers who were sitting outside the cave took a sigh of relief when they got the news. The entire world got the news of the young footballers' well-being. When everyone was celebrating seldom they knew soon they are going to witness a difficult rescue mission. Even though the boys were found, but experts, doctors and members of rescue team believed that it was the easiest part of the mission. Now it is going to be a daunting task to bring them out of the cave. First, the boys were provided food and water, and a doctor from Thai army was sent inside the cave. Who did their medical checkup, and give them first aid. Seeing the cave getting filled with water, while running towards a higher place inside the cave. And during that time they got many injuries. The food they were carrying was lost during the chaos. But the coach played a key role in their survival during these 10 days. Although there was a lot of water surrounding them but it was undrinkable and their coach told them that the water dripping from the walls of the cave is pure. Listening to their coach, all of them survived by drinking this water. Coach made the boys do meditation, to keep them relaxed to keep them away from negative thoughts which could have harmed them physically and mentally. On the other hand, outside the cave all eyes were on the authorities who were to declare a rescue plan. But for that they need to finalize one. The young footballers were boys of 15 to 16 years of age and it was not at all possible for them to do underwater swimming like professional divers and come out of the cave. Therefore they needed to formulate a plan with which boys can be rescued safely. Authorities planned to drill a escape shaft from above the mountains. Drilling equipments were transferred to the mountain. And the drilling work started. It was not an easy task to drill this escape shaft, as it was perceived because it might took a whole week and it was dangerous to keep the boys inside the cave for that long 
On the other hand another issue surfaced inside the cave. The part of the cave where the footballers were present for the last 10 days was quite a narrow place, with water blocking both the sides. And therefore a lack of oxygen was noticed. Normally air contains 21% oxygen but in the cave the oxygen level dropped up to 15%. According to doctors, 15% of oxygen is quite low and it can cause weakness. If this level drops 2% more, then one by one all the boys might die. This issue was not very prominent, but any time the situation could turn to worst. Therefore it was necessary to increase the oxygen level inside the cave. For that purpose dozens of oxygen cylinders were brought inside the cave, which was a difficult task. To execute this plan, Thai Navy rescue workers took one oxygen cylinder at a time. And diving through the waters the cylinders were transferred to the footballers. This process was working, but it proved deadly. In the 14th day of the rescue operation Saman Gunan who was a rescue diver of the Thai Navy, collapsed in the water while returning after delivering an oxygen cylinder at 1 am. Saman's partner noticed this and he dragged him to the chamber 3 where it was noticed that he was not breathing. He was immediately sent to the hospital but it was too late. Saman Gunan lost his life rescuing the 13 boys. The entire rescue team plunged into deep sorrow. On one hand, people were sad due to this incident and for the boys it was a warning signal. With each passing moment, pressure was building up upon the authorities. It was planned that till the end of monsoon rain boys were to be kept inside the cave. That means, for the next two months the 13 boys will remain stuck inside. But ultimately they changed their decision, because another problem was knocking at the door. The weather forecast that the Thai military received had made the rescue team worried. According to the weather forecast another storm was about to hit northern Thailand next week. Now a little delay might result in flooding the entire cave. Now the only option was to evacuate them through the water only. Professional rescue workers had the opinion that the boys will panic in the water. And their panic could result in another Saman-like incident. But for rescue, a solution was proposed, which the team agreed upon. The solution was risky but there was no other option as the time was limited. In the 10th of July 2018 it was the 18th day of the rescue operation in the early morning Dr. Richard Harris who was also a cave diver reached the place. And one after the other started giving anesthesia to the boys. Although anesthesia is given before operation so that the patient lose consciousness. But in this case the amount of anesthesia given would keep the boys awake but their brain will not react to any danger. After anesthesia the boys were made to wear full face mask. This face masks were specially designed to block water while allowing oxygen to breathe through the pipes. In this condition the rescue diver took the first boy with him. This journey through the water was not easy, because it was an hour long journey with a lot of narrow passages which were only 2 feet wide. Due to anesthesia, the boy was half awake and didn't panic seeing the dark water. And finally after 18 days the first boy was rescued and brought to the third chamber. And through a highline he was sent to the opening of the cave. And immediately ambulance took him to the hospital. This method was successful, and knowing this parents shed tears of joy. Similarly, one by one all the footballers were rescued. A statue was built in respect of Saman Gunan who sacrificed his life while rescuing the boys, the statue is still present there. Hope you will like and share this video. My heartfelt appreciation for your loving comments. We'll meet you in another amazing video.